I was not going to do this read at all. It wasn't in the plans. I'm busy. I have shit to do. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> but I just experienced a major deja vu and that to me is a sign uh, that timelines are changing. Okay, so I did something in my life that um, is going to be a major, a, ma a major, it's creating a major shift, okay? So there was, um, there was a point in time where um, I was going left, right? And then I just did something. I did something recently that is shifting my that that is so significant that it's shifting my life totally into a different direction and so it creates a glitch in the matrix right and um that shows up as a uh as a deja vu as an experience that i've already experienced in another timeline in another dimension that I, i'm re-experiencing again but going <laughs> in a different direction all right, so the, the heat is on right now, right? There's lots of, whew, I can feel the energy in here. It's high, it's high vibe, it's exciting. Um, so I decided what better time to do a read than right now, all right? So we're gonna ask our spirit guides, angels, source, most high creator, uh, what we should know about entering All right, whatever, whatever wants to come out, whatever guides want to let me know how I need to use this energy, what, um, it's taking my breath away, what, um, what messages, what messages, okay. Someone is feeling, all right, Spirit wants to talk, talk about somebody that is feeling lonely, that is soul searching at this time, that is feeling detached from the world. Spirit wants to talk about um, their lack of security, their uh, lack of help, and their pain, okay? Their frustration and their broken heart. <sighs> Let's get one more. All right. Somebody needs help out there. I can feel it heavily. Sorry, you're going through this. The Hierophant. Okay, so, whew, I'm shaky. Okay. So this is in regards to some government or public company, okay, or uh, some type of um, something that's official, an official situation of some point with this Hierophant card. It could have to do with a marriage, but I'm not feeling that. I'm really not. I'm not feeling the marriage thing. All right, I'm feeling... Um, feeling something totally different so let's move on let's clarify okay so we have the um, ace of cups as a clarifier for the ace of cups in reverse and the hermit card okay let's get more Some peace is needed in this situation is what I'm getting from this. Queen of Wands. Someone just feels like they are, their power is being taken away. Okay. Like they have no voice in a situation. Like they have no say in their, in the situation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're in a lot of pain. I'm feeling suicidal thoughts. I'm feeling... Just, they want to let go. Somebody wants to let go. Someone hasn't been sleeping. Someone's just been up all night thinking, crying. And... I think we've been out of work. Could have something to do with a cancer. or Sagittarius. Talk about the Three of Swords, please, Spirit. Tell us about the Three of Swords, please. Someone might have died. 
died. That's what I'm feeling from this. Someone is mourning a death or deaths. Someone's asking themselves why. Someone's asking God why. I feel like someone is really coming to um, there's a spiritual place in their life, whereas before they were not. Okay, they feel shut down by the world. They feel shut down, period. They're having a really hard time giving love at this time. They're really just shutting down. They're working with spirit. They're working with God. They're getting back to a place to feel comfortable with God. Look, look at these cards, guys. They're just popping out. They're sick of being fucking sad, disappointed at fucking everything. Somebody needs help. Somebody needs help. The magician in reverse. Yeah, they just feel like they're completely powerless. Like they have no fucking say in their life. Nine of Pentacles, what's this all about? Just trying to figure out how to make money. How to be successful, how to fucking move on from this. How to just be normal again, right? I feel like this person feels like they're competing with everyone and they're just not good enough. It's not fucking good enough to be a part of society. Hermit card comes out again. This death is really taking a toll on everything. Taking their power away. And when I when I say taking their power away, I mean it's taking their soul away. When I say they're taking, it's taking their soul away, I mean it's taking their need to feel part of society. It's taking their, it's like they died, okay? They feel like they're dying. They're forced to work though. They feel like they're fucking dying and you're forced to work. feel totally alone and not a part of society and they just want to stop hurting guys they just want life to stop throwing them fucking shit they just want to stop they do miss a love in their life and spirit is Keeps gently reminding them that this person is good, that this person is meant for them like, to be in their life, to help, to bring them love, and to stop cutting this person off. King of Swords, you see me these, all right? I'm not picking these cards, guys. I'm not picking these cards. Somebody's walked away because they're sick of working on this. They kept not working. Sun and moon, sun and moon, dark light. Just a fucking roller coaster when it comes to these two. And so someone's not knowing what to do. Not knowing how to approach the Queen of Cups. Not knowing how to approach the love that they are so needing right now. Whoever this is, you can unbind yourself. Okay, there is a way out. Few more cards here. Let me get a couple more messages. Yeah, look. They feel like they are bound to this toxicity and that they can never find their true happiness. They're so defensive, whoever I'm talking about. And they can't open up. They feel like they are doomed. 
that there is no way they can ever feel fulfilled, that they're just trapped in this energy of darkness. It doesn't have to be that way. There's an oracle deck. There's an oracle deck. And it's called Because I Love Myself. It's healing messages. I'm going to get three out. Spirit, let this person know. If this is not for you and you know somebody that is in this kind of pain, please share this with them. Okay. The power of change. I accept that I have the ability to make changes within my life. I choose what makes my life more full of self-love and head in that direction. The power to change. It's never too late, guys. Self-reflection. I look into my eyes and see the truth of who I am in my soul. I share all I love about myself to that soul. Within the mirror, a reflection of my true self. You've got to be honest. That's the only way to grow. You have to be honest to yourself. Last message. Delightful movement. I move in healthy, healthful ways each day. A short walk, a dance to music I love, a swim within the ocean's cleansing beauty. I appreciate and support the wonder of my physical being. Take care of yourself. You're not going to feel good if you are putting shit in your body. You're not going to feel good if you're not getting the sun that you need every day. You're not going to feel good if you don't put aside that time for yourself to move. To take a deep breath. To allow yourself to be alone and to be with God and to be with your higher self. I was called to this reading. All... Puffy, puffy faced, looking like shit, and I don't care. I want to say that I love you, and that, um, you know, you might feel blocked, you might feel not good enough, you might feel inferior, but you're not. There's always a way to break through. There's always a way. If you want it, then get it. There's always a way. There's a will. There's a way. All right? So, fight. Fight for your right. Fight for your happiness. Fight for you. You deserve it. You're beautiful. You are loved. You are purposeful. And um, you're needed in this world. Okay? So that was my message to you from Spirit, from God. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time, guys. Namaste.